Hey everybody, um, just got back from Germany, um, going through my mail, it's always an exciting time, especially when I've got boxes of books I have not seen yet. I also got um, from Florida Trend, Amber picked up a few of these from the um, Barnes & Noble, but Florida Trend also sent a whole stack of these. Um, when I get, uh, I've got quite a bit of traveling coming up, but when I get settled down, I'm going to figure out how to do some giveaways for these things. I've got more copies of some stuff than I know what to do with. Um, let's see if the, oh yes, here's the story in here. A bunch of people in Florida, uh, noteworthy. Um, they try to get me looking like I'm standing in front of a silo or something like that for mine. Uh, I just barely squeezed in there, by the way. Um, it's 30-somethings, and I'm going to have uh, I'd have done that story a year from now. I wouldn't have made it. Okay. It's a shame that I didn't get my unboxing of this live. I uh, opened a big box that I didn't think would be a book or anything and absolutely freaked out. Um, this, this is not only the... Uh, I think the prettiest of any of my books that has ever been put together. It might be one of the prettiest books I've ever seen in person. This thing is going to jump out at people on the book stands. Ladies and gentlemen, Sand. This is the UK edition. This is another Jason Smith cover design. Um, it is so freaking gorgeous. And so I love these um, these publishers, man, especially these overseas guys. And they note what people are excited about. Remember the Italian edition, how it had that great schematic on the inside? Well, look what they've done at Random House. First, here's the map. I mean, this is like referenced in the book. And there's, I mean, this is one of the legends. There's... Um, the Buffalo Sand and the and the Warrior Colorado. There's uh, the Peak, and you've got the um, you got Springston there, and Shantytown in the Gardens. You've got No Man's Land. Look at this incredible artwork, and this is this is like poster worthy. I do this anyway with a lot of my books. I take the dust jacket off so it doesn't get messed up, and just read the hardback. But when you do that, you end up, you know, I've got a lot of hardbacks on my shelf where I don't have the dust cover on it. And you end up with a boring looking book and you can't tell what it is. But look what they did. This is what the, it's like a paper on board printing. So you can still see what, but look at that. Oh my goodness. How did they, how did they knock this out of the park like that? That's incredible. So you've got a dust jacket plus a paper on board, beautiful bound edition. Um, oh my God, they got all the praise stuff. And then check this out. This is in the book as well. A detailed city map of Springston and Shantytown. I mean, unbelievable. All the, the work that they put into this. I and the, the the paper stock is amazing. The um, the pagination I've already been through this as a PDF, but the pagination is incredible. We've got some reading group discussion questions at the end. All right, this is uh so this is the new bar. It has been set really high. I will be uh, flabbergasted if anyone. Um, approaches this with any of my books. I mean, you can't ask for more. Uh, and I, you know, as part of this, seeing it come together is amazing because I was part of this whole process of describing the map and giving some uh, art direction for what kinds of things would be on there. And I, I felt like I was asking a lot when I was said, you know, if you wanted to work this in with the, um, uh, with the, the bull and Colorado. Um, but 
you know, it sounded like a lot of work. And the next thing I know, there's a, a drawing sent back from the artist. And it was like, like this? And it's like, it looked amazing. So this is going to, this is going to tear some of you up because I don't, I'm not home between really now and November and often enough to sort out sending things out to people. But included in that box was 14 more copies of the sand hardback. So I've got copies to give away. We've got, we can do some, some definite prize stuff here. Um, and I'll, I'll figure that out, but it'll have to be after this summer. Um, you know, I, I just got back from Germany today and I've already got to start figuring out my New York trip. And when I'm back from that, I'm only back for a week before I leave for a quite an extended run. Um, but we'll, we'll figure something out. So I've also got, I don't know if there'll be anything new in this. I've got, um, did everybody say hey to Bella? Hey, Bella. <laughs> uh, she, uh, she got to go to the beach on the way home from the, uh, airport. So she's a little knackered. Oh yeah. Nice. Hugger's gonna hug t-shirt. So we'll see. Oh, oh. This is an exciting one. This makes this video not safe for work because this is the French edition of book two. Uh, so and for shift in uh, Germany, shift is going to be called level and in uh, French. Uh, I would pronounce this incorrectly, so I'm not even going to try. But um, of course, that's not Juliet. If you've read um, shift, you'll know who that is. Um, so beautiful French edition of book two. That's what this box is. I know I have some people out there who, who read French and or have a, there were quite a few people who wanted the French edition of um, wool. So I know we'll have takers for those guys. Let's see what's in here. Doing these foreign editions is so much fun. It's like, So cool to see what everybody's doing with this book. Um, okay, so this is the Latvian wool, which I've seen. That's a really cool cover. Makes me think of Ender's Game for some reason. And this is the gorgeous uh, Italian edition of Shift. Um, they've, uh, I've got a couple of these already. This is when they have these. Three together, wool, shift, and dust. These are going to be beautiful together. They've done such a good job with these. That's Fabry, great publisher. Let's see what this last one is. I don't know of any. Um, not really expecting any additions. I don't know what this could be. Oh, this might be the my Brazil edition of wool. Nope. Yeah, yeah, it is. This is, um, so this is the Portuguese uh, wool for Brazil, which just released, uh, I think, last month. Beautiful. I love the I love the paperbacks that have. Um, I, I consider them bookmarks, but the flaps. So cool. So. More, uh, more books to figure out what to do with soon. Until then, um, one more look at this puppy. Man, I'm so happy with how that came out. Great job, Jason. Great job, Jack. Everybody at uh, Random House UK Century. Um, thanks uh, for um, having me at the London Book Fair. It was good seeing you all again. And thanks everybody for tuning in and um, see you next time I have mailed open. Ciao.